Hello and welcome back to Diecast Chop Shop. Today I'm going to swap a base on one of these M2 Chevys. And I figured I'd take the time to maybe show you a couple of the other M2's uh, Chevy trucks I have around here. I really like that one. 7,000 pieces. Not a big fan of brown, but I really like the the color and the tampos on this one. Got one of the Duralast AutoZone releases here. 2012 release. Oh, another auto lift. This one's the 1958 Chevy Apache and the 1958 GMC 100. Released in 2004. Another auto lift. This is the 1979 Chevy Silverado, one step side and one without a bed. A lot of pearl in that paint job, really nice truck. I happen to have a couple of those ones open, as a matter of fact. Anyhow, this pink Silverado that came in the mail from someone on Instagram was originally lowered, but he put it on one of these bases here, and I like the lifted coke truck, but I think that pink truck would look a lot better lowered, and I'd like to see this big Kahona right here lifted up. 4,400 pieces this one. That's a nice truck right there. So let's get this thing cut open. Just take your time. There's no need to rush. You don't want to cut yourself. Well, we got it out of the box. Let's open her up and look at her. Ooh, and there you have it. What a nice truck. The first thing you'll notice is the base that the truck is sitting on in the box has two screws on the bottom. We're just going to pull those out, one and two. On the lifted truck, there's another little piece of plastic to help support the extra height. Two screws on the base of the lowered truck. Now that one's out. Here you can have a quick look at the two bases compared. That lifted base is pretty detailed. We got some leaf springs, drive shafts, transfer case, and rear pumpkin, front pumpkin. Next, you're gonna have two screws in each of the trucks. There's the front one and the back one on the pink truck with the lifted base. They come right out. And two screws on the other truck. There's the back one and there's the front one. So you'll notice that on the pink one, the bed and the cab are two pieces. And the cab comes with a little mounting bracket in the back for a screw to hold the back of the cab down. The big Kahona truck though was all one piece. But it still came off pretty easy. The interior came out of that one on the way out. We can just put that back in there before we put them together. Here's a look at the two bases side by side with no shell on them. 
just make sure you put the interior back in and we can drop this truck on this lifted base make sure everything lines up it's looking all right before I start putting screws in I'm gonna check the other truck just don't want to get too far ahead of myself if something's not gonna fit and it looks like we have another fit so let's go ahead and get some screws back in these just like taking it apart there's two one in the front one in the back and on the other truck one in the back and one in the front. 